Hi! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about our OCC boxes that we are doing for this year of 2019. So come along with me. So the reason for being in my closet is because um, throughout the year I sometimes um, We'll buy certain things for our OCC boxes, and I actually have a drawer that's right behind me where I store my stuff. So, um, Michael and I have already pulled from the drawer for our two boxes for this year, so I just want to show you so that you can get an idea of like what kind of stuff uh, to store. Now, not all the stuff that's in this drawer is actually for OCC. Sometimes... I buy some extra things that um, the school might need, or Michael's teacher might need throughout the year, so that I purchase it at a good deal, and so when they need it, I've got it, and I can send it in to school. So here we go. Okay, so in my closet, I've got this nice little shelving unit. I love my new closet and then I have these two little drawers so the top drawer is our drawer where we keep all of our goodies so like I said like this glue this would be for Michael's school but these boxes of crayons um I always buy extra when it's back to school time uh because they're the better deal so as you can see I've got several boxes in here of crayons I got this uh, last year or the year before uh, from Walmart. Then um, Wendy's had these cool build your creativity um, dinosaur sets. And they're really cool because they um, are Ziploc bags. And so I thought since Michael... Uh, wasn't into wanting to open them and build them. I thought these would be perfect to put in an OCC box. So we have several of them. And we have also took out a few for this year's boxes. So always look at um, Happy Mail toys or Kids Mail toys. Um, as you can see, like we had extras of this, of uh, Jack Jack. So these are things that if you already have one and you get a second one in your kid's meal, why not just set it aside and it could be a cool little toy at no extra cost to you for your OCC boxes. And the same with like the books that you can get from like um, I think this oh, this was from McDonald's, but sometimes you get books like at Chick-fil-A and stuff. So, um, this was purchased uh, several years ago for an OCC box, but it did not fit in there. So, it will just stay there because I haven't pulled it out yet. Okay, so we've got some cars, pencils, and then we've got um, these Christmas pencils that haven't been used. Okay, so a tip that my mom gave me several, several years ago is um, when you get those Disney movie reward um, things in the mail, there's always a sheet of stickers. So why not just set these stickers aside, stick them in, just stick the sheet in your box, and then your the kid who gets your box will um, have some fun stickers. So... <clears throat> Whenever we, like, go places, um, like this was from the Rainforest Cafe, um, this was from the movies when we went to go see Finding Dory, um, so when you have these, like, little, uh, cups, um, clean them out, and then you can use them in the OCC box, because they can always use cups, um, uh, plasticware, any, any type of utensils that they could use. Um, 
if you get, you know, drawstring bags or whatnot and you don't want, your kids don't want them, keep them, set them aside. Put them in your OCC drawer or box or whatever, how you're storing your stuff. Put them in there and then that way there's a nice little tote and no additional cost to you for um, the child to be able to put all of their stuff in. You can also do um, colored pencils. I normally don't. I normally just do the crayons um, and regular pencils. Uh, so this is more than likely for school, but you never know. Uh, you can always put these uh, play packs, the grab-and-go play packs. Uh, they're nice because they're in a resaleable bag. They come with a little pack of crayons, some stickers, and a little uh, coloring book. Usually um, a dollar. As you can see, we got a lot of Happy Meal toys in here that we haven't used yet. Um, I found this, I think, um, at Target in like the what they call the bullseye section now. Um, so they're little uh, things of, well, uh, Play-Doh. So you could put like a couple... Like, you could split this up and put two in one box and two in the other. And I think this might have been a dollar. Not exactly sure. <clears throat> um, so this, I think, was also um, from Walmart a while ago. And um, so... You can either keep it in the resealable bag or you can take everything out and put it in the box. So there's a pencil sharpener, um, a pencil, a stamp, um, a little book, and an eraser. Uh, this I actually had purchased for Michael a while ago and he didn't end up using it. Um... <clears throat> so you could get like a little pedicure kit for um, one of the, the older girls' boxes. Um, this is a little Christmas crayon and I guess a little pack. Um, these are puzzles that come with crayons. I got these at the Dollar Tree. Um, that they can color and then put apart and um, create their own puzzle. Um, it, the, this I had bought for a Disney trip that didn't get used. Um, so these were purchased for Michael's Mickey Mouse themed birthday party a few years ago. So you could always use extra party supplies and put them in there as a nice little fun treat. So a lot of these glow sticks are not for OCC. Um, they're just for trips. Um, so an older boy, you could always put safety glasses in and other types of tools. Um, little rubber duckies, uh, marbles, some bouncy balls. Um, I got pencils and pens. Uh, these are for Michael School if they need them, the, the paint and the wash colors, because I don't think you can send these. You might be able to. I'm not sure. Um, so, basically, I uh, hope that gives you some ideas of, like, some of the stuff that I collect. Like I said, this drawer is not just, um, for OCC storage. It's also for, like, if Michael's school needs anything. I've got stuff. But it's mostly OCC. Like these, th these have liquid in it. So I would not be able to send those because you can't send anything liquid. Um, so, but yeah, look at all these, um, these, um, kids toys. So you could do, um, jacks. I got this thing of jacks. That you could um, send, and they're not spiky. These are these are squishy plastic, so they won't hurt anyone. And then, like if you get water bottles, like this was from 
um, VBS a few years ago, you could always put that in there instead of like a cup. Um, box of puzzles that might not fit in the box, but little notebook. Oh, I might put that in my box this year. <coughs> so, anyways, um, so that is what we, uh, what I have stored up. So, I hope that gave you some ideas on what you can, um, be looking for throughout the year when there are good deals on all the different items and how to store them. So, here is what all we, um, we have for our boxes. Okay, so last week um, we had Spirit Week at Chick-fil-A and they had the boxes out. So tonight is the night that we need to drop them off. So I definitely need to get these boxes done and ready so I can drop them off at Chick-fil-A. So we got two boxes. Okay, so you saw me pull this out of the drawer. So I'm going to try to fit this in the girl box that we're going to do. Um, we always... Uh, use a bar of soap and um, they don't really care what type of soap you get but um, they say that ivory is the best because ivory will actually float so a lot of these kids actually have to go and bathe in like rivers or lakes or creeks or whatnot and so this way they don't lose their soap so we actually use ivory, so I just pulled these from our uh, cabinet. Uh, so, two bars of soap. So, <clears throat> we went to Walmart, and um, because for some reason, um, our Dollar Tree does not um, carry the uh, containers to put um the bars of soap in. So I always like to, these are less than a dollar. I always like to get these so that, um, we put the soap in there and then they have a nice little container to keep their soap in after they're, they're done using it. So, um, I also at Walmart, these were also under, um, a dollar. Um, I got toothpaste holders so that they can, or not toothpaste, toothbrush holders so that they can put their toothbrushes in, um, and that way they don't get all nasty and everything like that. So that's what I got at Walmart. So, um, we did a little bit of shopping at the, um, Dollar Tree. So we bought, um, a three pack of toothbrushes for a dollar. Um, I actually already had, um, one toothbrush because last year I had purchased the same pack. So I only needed one toothbrush, but this is actually a really good deal. So now I'll have two toothbrushes ready for next year. <coughs> so we got each of them a um, little like um, pencil pencil holder um, so that they can store their pencils and whatever um, types of school supplies that um, they uh, have so that they're all in one nice little place um, <coughs> Michael wanted to buy some more Christmassy uh, pencils so I had one pair of scissors, um, so we needed to buy another one. Pencil sharpeners. Michael liked these um, pencil topper erasers, so we got a pack. Got um, some combs for the boy. Because we're going to do a boy and girl. Oh, so we actually got two of these. So I'm guessing one is for him and one is for them. And then we got them each their own towel. So I got the girl Minnie. And he got, he picked up uh, Buzz Lightyear for the boy. 
All right. So that <coughs> was Dollar Tree. And then these came from the Dollar Tree, but I already had them um, for a while now. Um, so I'm going to take two of these and um, we're going to put uh, the, take the crayons out of crayon boxes and put the crayons in here. Um, normally I get um, the crystal light tubs. Uh, to store their um, crayons and erasers and pencil sharpeners in, but um, I haven't gotten any from mom and I don't drink that, so I didn't want to buy it and just throw the stuff out just for the tubs. So uh, I decided to uh, use these for the crayons and then um, bought these to put the uh, pencils the erasers and the sharpeners in. So, <clears throat> this did not come from Disney. This is just the bag I put all the stuff that we got, took out of the drawer up in my closet. So, as I was saying, if you have um, drawstring bags, drawstring backpacks, um, and the kids aren't going to use them, um, just stick them, uh, set them aside, and they're easy to fold up and store in the box, and then the kids will have a great way to carry around all their goodies that they got in their box. So we had two of those, and um, so here's the extra um, toothbrush that I already had. So, um, Wendy's at one point also had these, um, kind of like Lego kits that they were putting in their, um, kids meals and, uh, Michael never opened them. So, um, yeah, so I thought we would just put these in the boxes or try to. So we had to have a few of those. Um, this is a game that we got from the Chick-fil-A kids meal. Um, so maybe that might fit in a box. <clears throat> Here's another one of those kits. <coughs> and then I had um, some extra erasers. And then these are like um, things that you put on the pencil so you hold the pencil properly. So I had some of those um, left over. I think I got these at Big Lots a few years ago. So... I mean, there used to be 40, 45 pieces in here. Um, so I've got my money out of it because it's pretty much empty. <clears throat> so, um, like I said, give the kids a cup. So we're going to give a Christmas Mickey Mouse and then an Emoji Avengers. And... This is another um, set thing that Wendy's was having. Thought it would be cool to put in one of the boxes. <clears throat> and these are the other um, sets that Wendy's was having in their kids meal. So we have quite a few of those in here. I don't know if we'll be able to fit all of them in these boxes, but we will try. <clears throat> okay. Um, and like I said, um, utensils. Um, I believe I bought these at Walmart a few years ago. I think they're like a dollar. Um, so it's it's a really nice, um, heavy plastic, and it's a fork and spoon. Um, so that you know they have something to eat with. So you're giving them something to eat with and something to drink out of. So something that lots of kids in the countries that these boxes are going to may not have. Oh, here's another one of those boxes. And we have crayons, two boxes of crayons. Best time to get these are generally at um, back to school where they're like under a dollar each. I always buy several um, uh, boxes because I also do sometimes I also do gifts for teachers with crayons 
Um, if you're interested in learning more about that, I will put a link in the description below on how we make those. <clears throat> so um, our church does an Easter egg hunt and um, they don't always put candy in the eggs. So they had, there's another bracelet in here too. Um, so they had these like little bracelets. So I thought that these would be perfect to put in the boxes just so that they have, you know, something cool to wear and it has a cool meaning. And then, like I said, we had, I had one, um, pair of scissors already. <coughs> um, so a brush for the girl. And then here are the stickers. So one, uh, sheet each. Here's the other, um, bracelet. And some Christmas peanuts um, erasers. <clears throat> some more Christmas pencils. And then I think I got these at Walmart last year. I'm not exactly sure. But, um, and they were only 99 cents. So, a cute little, um, booklet about what the, uh, you know, about the meaning of the season, but also some fun things that they can do and color with. And that is it. So, um, I'm going to try to fit all this stuff in the two different boxes. Does not always happen. Um, so whatever I don't fit in the boxes will go back into the drawer and be used, um, next year or the year after that. Actually, I got everything in this box and there's actually still some more room for some stuff so I think I might go back upstairs and see if there's a few um, things up there that I could possibly add 
So I will be right back and see if there's anything I can add. So um, I'm going to add this um, Hot Wheels uh, Kids Meal toy, um, this bag of Jacks, and then these safety glasses. And that should fill the box. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive a king. Let every heart prepare him. And, and it does, and there's actually still a little bit of room to add more stuff. But when it goes to the, um, the, uh, inspection center if they feel that this needs to be packed up with more stuff um they'll add more stuff to the box so there is our boy box and i think we're going to this is going to be like for around like michael's age so i think that's for um five to seven is what this box is all right on to the girl There we go. There is the girls box. There's still a little bit of room to like put some stuff in there. But I got everything in there, which is amazing. And this will probably be for a girl the same age as the boys box that we're doing. So I think that's um 5 to 7. So there you have it. There is our boxing of two OCC boxes, one for a boy, one for a girl. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go downstairs onto the computer, go to Samaritan's Purse's um, website. I am going to pay for these boxes. Um, I believe that um, they're $7 each, and that's basically, you're paying for shipping. That's the shipping of these boxes. Um, 
$7 each. I'm going to print out my labels, uh, tape them onto the boxes where it says to um, place the labels right here and um, rubber band the boxes, even though the boxes are pretty secure, but they want them rubber band um, for transportation reasons because it's going to um, go to a uh, processing center to make sure that everything is under the guidelines. And I will leave a link in the description down below. Um, other uh, boxes that we've done in the past, as well as a link to their list of what is acceptable and what is not acceptable in these boxes. Um, so as of filming this, this was filmed on October, or not October, this was filmed on November 12th. I believe next week is the week for um, uh, dropping off the boxes, but our local Chick-fil-A does this um, every year. And so today is the day that they are collecting the boxes and then they will um, either have someone from OCC uh, pick them up or a local church that is uh, a place that is um, collecting will pick them up. I don't know what they do, but tonight is the night that they are collecting the boxes. So I needed to get them done. So I hope this gave you uh, some helpful tips on how to um, do an OCC box and also not um, to break the bank. Um, I think we may have before paying for it the, um, the shipping of the boxes. I think we might have paid for the stuff that we just purchased. Um, probably, uh, 10 to 20 extra dollars. And some of those items, um, I didn't use them all. So like there's still erasers left over. There's still pencils left over. There's, um, some toothbrushes left over and, um, some pencil sharpeners and all that stuff. So that'll be used again for next year for other boxes. So, um, just think of it that way that, even though you buy in a bundle, you're not using a whole bundle then. So it'll save you money for the next year. So um, anyways, um, be a blessing to someone. Uh, we try to, no matter what our financial situation is, we try to do at least one box every year to give back to someone who is uh, less fortunate than us. Um, this is a really good organization. Uh, so I highly recommend uh, packing yourself a box. You'll love it. Get your kids involved. They'll love doing it as well. And, um, as always, I am, um, Lucy. I am a blogger. I blog over at Gigglebox Tells It Like It Is, which is at www.giggleboxblog.com. So go check that out. I have several posts on OCC boxes that we've done in the past, which I will um, put in the description box, links down in the description box below, um, as well as some other fun, family, and friendly, and fru frugal um, posts over there um, as well. So as always, I will see you later and have a very blessed Christmas holiday. Bye!